Hi and welcome to the video. In this video I'm going to talk about the BMW transport mode and how to delete it using DIS software. Transport mode can be triggered if you allow your battery to go very flat or if you've needed to replace your battery recently. Symptoms are the blower fan only runs at low speed even if you adjust the dial. The demister and aircon do not work. The main tools that you're going to require is a laptop computer and a connection cable so that it can connect to your car. Uh, my car is actually an 06 Z4 so the cable that I needed is um, called a K-Line cable. Um, does years 2000 to 2007. Um, and then also the uh, DIS V57 software. There are a lot of different sources uh, for the cable and the software. Uh, and you need um, a, a varying different levels of computer skills in order to load it on properly. Um, and so for that reason, uh, the people that I actually recommend are Cable Shack, and I'll provide the details below. Um, I'm not affiliated with them in any way, but the key thing about these guys is um, they take care of a lot of the, um, the self-loading uh, to make it as easy as possible, and also they have very good support. Um, I think that probably there's other people that you can use, uh, but you may not get the same step-by-step -step approach and therefore have to do quite a lot of your own research in order to load it on and, and get the software working properly. Okay, hopefully you've got your laptop software and cable ready to go. So the next thing you need to do is connect it to your car and turn the ignition on. Once you're on the home page, look for the button marked Diagnosis and click it. An hourglass symbol will appear to show that the, uh, the computer is working. On the next page, select the series for your car and then the model type and click the green arrow to continue. The next page will ask you to connect a battery charger before continuing. So the correct way of doing this is to uh, connect the battery charger as it's requested. Uh, but I actually didn't want to have one to hand, so uh, I just continued um, just using the car's battery and, and it worked fine for me. Uh, but anyway, that's your choice. So click OK when you're ready. The next page will say that the vehicle and the vehicle equipment has been determined automatically. Also, it will ask you if you want to carry out a quick test. Just go ahead and click OK and it will progress to the next page. Okay, so this is the results page. Anything that's got an exclamation mark next to it has checked out OK, but anything that has an X next to it will indicate a fault. You'll see on the top right hand side I've put a red circle around the uh, IHKA Integrated Automatic Heating and Air Conditioner uh, section. Um, this is, has an X next to it, so it's showing that it has a fault. And actually, this is where you'll find um, transport mode as well. It falls under this item. Click the green arrow to continue. This page is entitled Diagnosis Symptom Selection. You'll see down near the bottom of the page that it confirms that the um, transport mode is active. So it will say IHKA transport mode active and that it's currently present. Go ahead and click the green arrow to progress to the next page. We're starting to get somewhere now. On this page, it gives you the option to delete the transport mode. So go ahead and click to highlight delete transport mode and then the green arrow to continue. Now it will ask you for confirmation. Do you want to delete the transport mode? Click yes. Now the system will confirm that it's deleting the transport mode and the cursor will move to an arrow glass symbol to show you that it's working on it. As soon as the cursor becomes an arrow again, click on the green arrow on the bottom right corner to continue. Okay, you're almost done. All that's required now is to exit the system in the right way and to carry out a quick delete when you do it. It's a little bit hard to see because the banner across the top is obscuring it, but the exit button is on the top left, so it's um, the top left hand corner, the third from the left. If you click that and then click quit, on the next page, click Quick Delete and then Terminate to uh, finish your session. And then you should be done. Okay, well I hope you found the video useful. 
If you thought that it was good and it gave you information that you required, uh, helped you in some way, then please give me a thumbs up because it really helps my channel. Also, if you'd like to subscribe uh, to, you know, be kept informed about videos that I bring out in the future, uh, then please subscribe. You'll get a notification. If it's not relevant to you, then of course you can just ignore it or delete it, but it means that you don't miss out on things. Any questions, uh, please go ahead and write them below and I'll, I'd be happy to try to help. Also, in the description below, uh, you will find the links uh, to Cable Shack and uh, maybe some other things that I've mentioned. Thank you, and bye for now.